Hi everyone, it's Dr. A, and in this video, we're going to discuss a process of bone growth and development referred to as endochondral ossification. The process of endochondral ossification is utilized primarily in the development of long bones, such as the tibia, femur, and the humerus. So similar to the intramembranous ossification process, this process begins with the embryonic skeleton. And remember that here we're starting with the cartilage model. And in the cartilage, we begin with mesenchymal cells. And as you'll notice, these mesenchymal cells are located within the center of the cartilage model. So within this process, these mesenchymal cells differentiate into chondrocytes. And it's these chondrocytes that will differentiate again and ultimately become cartilage. And shortly after the differentiation of the mesenchymal cells to chondrocytes, we begin to see the development of a membrane that surrounds and protects this cartilage model. And this membrane is referred to as the perichondrium. And it's this perichondrium that serves as a protective layer of tissue for the cartilage model. And over the course of time, the chondrocytes in the cartilaginous model grow in size. And soon after, capillaries begin to penetrate this area. And through this process, we'll see the transformation of the perichondrium into the periosteum, which is the outer covering of bone tissue. And we'll call this process and this area in the center of our model, the primary ossification center. And this term simply represents the first step or the beginning process of bone growth. Now, after birth, we'll have a repeat of the process that occurred in the development of the primary ossification center. This time, however, the process takes place at the ends of the bone, or what we call the growth plates. And this time, we'll refer to these areas as secondary ossification centers. And by this time, we'll have fully developed bone, and it's important to note, too, that we'll have some cartilage that remains at the ends of the bone. And more specifically, we'll refer to these as articular cartilage. Well, thank you for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful. And if you indeed found value in it, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.